Today in this video, I'm going to teach you how to get this E3 2019 weapon called Scorpio. And guys, trust me when I say this, you don't want to miss this chance to get this weapon because after three weeks, this weapon will be gone forever. So yes, you only have time till March 14 to get this weapon that can one shot anything. And yes, it's a weapon that's basically a hybrid and can switch from a harpoon shooter to a two handed hammer in seconds. So my friends, follow this video till the end to get this weapon with its blueprint easily. And yes, if you subscribe to the channel, then it will be insane. Now the Scorpio weapon is a part of the anniversary bounties, that means the only way to get this weapon is by completing these anniversary bounties that you can only find in the pilgrim outpost also just for your information there are three rewards in total that you can get in the next three weeks and yeah the scorpio is the first reward so there are basically four different missions that you need to complete to get yourself the scorpio weapon but before that you need to go to the pilgrim outpost also just for you guys i will have a link in my description so just click on there and under the anniversary bounties select all of these four bounties remember if you don't pick these bounties then the mission will never start. Now let's look at all of these four bounties one by one. The first one is called the New Tricks in Villador. In this bounty, you need to defeat 10 enemies using the finishers. Now I'm sure you guys know that doing a finisher is not that easy, but in the latest update, Techland has added an extra skill for you in the legend levels that can help you do the finishers easily. So if you go and check your legend levels, then you will find this new skill called Survivor. Basically, if you upgrade the skill, then it will increase your stamina damage, and the higher the stamina damage, the higher the chance of doing a finisher. Also, make sure to not put any points in this brawler skill. Since we're gonna be doing finishers with our fist, we need to avoid getting this skill. I'm saying this because if you have the skill, then the zombies will simply die before you could even do a finisher. Now, if you have enough skill points, then put them all in the survivor skill, but in case you don't have enough points, you can always respect the legend levels. Basically, this will take out all the points you have used in these skills and it will give it back to you. Something like this. But do remember, when you respec, it will require 50,000 coins in the game. Now, let's say you maxed out your survivor skill. What you need to do after that is make an empty slot so you can equip your fist and then punch the biters until you get a prompt to do a finisher. Also make sure your HUD is enabled so you can see the prompt. Now just do the finishers and keep doing it until you have done it at least 10 times. Also let's say for some reason you can't do these finishers as your enemy keeps dying instantly. Well in that case you need to switch to a lower level save and that will surely help you. Now the next bounty is called the one step ahead of death. And this my friends is one of the easiest one here. All you need to do is go out during the night time and start a chase. After that just hit a volatile and the chase will begin. Now you just need to keep running for at least one minute without dying. And yes if you stayed alive for one minute then this mission will be over. Next, we have another easy bounty called Chop Chop. In this, you basically need to cut 50 limbs of an infected. So get your best weapon out and slice the hands or legs of a zombie. Personally, I was using the Ishmael weapon and you can basically use any weapon you want, but a polearm would be really great for slicing them. Also, if you don't have a polearm, then you can watch this video to get yourself one with a blueprint found around the world. You'll find the link in the description for that video. But like I said, this bounty is the easiest one, so cutting 50 limbs should not be an issue. Now go finish them and now we'll look at the final and probably the most difficult bounty in this list. This bounty is called the Bounty Boy. In this bounty, you need to play the one by one map and finish it under 6 minutes 40 seconds. Also, I'm not gonna lie, you need to be at least decent in parkour to beat this in time. But don't worry because I have few tips for you that can surely help you beat this in time. Also, if you're someone who's facing an issue downloading the map and is getting this internal error issue, well, you can find a video in my description box that will teach you how to fix this error and download the map easily. Now, before you start playing the custom maps, you need to learn two moves. First one being the slide jump. It's very easy. All you need to do is slide and then jump. This move will surely give you a huge advantage and you can keep spamming this to cover a huge distance in less time. The second move is called double jump that can come in handy if you practice enough. Basically you need to jump once and as soon as you're about to land on the ground press the jump button twice along with the crouch button. Doing this correctly would allow you to jump like this without the need of any platform. Also if you need a detailed tutorial then you can find a link in my description for my video called become a parkour master. That video will basically teach you all the best moves you need. Now watch me play this map and listen to what I'm saying because I will go through each checkpoint and I will give you tips while I'm doing it myself. So watch the gameplay and once you finish the map yourself go to the website and claim all the bounties along with the final reward the Scorpio weapon. Once you're done claiming it later you will find this weapon inside your stash. So good luck and watch the gameplay and learn. Alright so let me give you like a quick um, tips and tricks to basically how to finish this. When, as soon as it starts you need to do a slide and jump. This is like the first thing you will do. Slide and jump. Try avoiding the water because if you jump on the water, it's gonna slow you down. So make sure you're not going there. Slide and jump. That's like the, the main thing you need to do. 
Now you have to do a wall run here. Jump here. Grab the rope. Click. Basically to kick. Slide and jump. Don't worry, the stamina region is quite quicker in this map. So you're not gonna have any issue with the stamina much. But yeah, slight jump is what's gonna help you. But yeah, here what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this and you can go around if you have issues going through that thing. You can always go from the other way around. But for this one, you will have to at least jump. So don't think much about it and keep jumping. The more you think, the more you're gonna fail. So jump, jump, and when you come here, again, on the left side, away the water. If you're fast enough, you can do it right there. You don't have to come around and do all that stuff. But yeah, slight jump, slight jump. Hey, inside, try avoiding jumping because I have done that. Like, it will literally get you stuck sometimes. So just avoid that and keep running straight. Jump in. Try to use like far jump and all that stuff as well combined. That would really help you. When you're here, jump, land here, move towards this place. There's a rope down there. Grab it, drop down, and you will see another rope. Grab it. Click. I'm doing click. Uh, should be something on your uh, console. Just a button. Make sure to do a far jump here because when you do one, you will gain um, a lot of distance. So that's good. Slide and jump, like I said, always gonna help you. Slide, under, go. Now, if you watch my video, you can always uh, do one trick. I'll just slow down for a second. I'll show you. Like, uh, there's a trick that will literally allow you to like jump above this. But I mean, don't have to do it if you haven't practiced it. But I was showing you. It shouldn't. Nothing should slow you down. If it's slowing you down, then you have uh, issues. Okay, like. When I say you have issues, I mean you're gonna have issue completing this in time. Hold space or the jump button basically to like go quicker. But you can always do uh, the slight jump here as well to like skip through this faster. Come to the corner, jump above, slide, jump, slide, jump, slide, jump. Also, most of the time, you don't really have to be on the top as well. You can just be at the bottom. I've, I've tested this. You can also be at the bottom and still be able to, like, check the, do the checkpoint. Slide jump. Here as well, slide jump. On the left. Under slide. Oh, slide jump. All right. Whole space. I'm on, I'm on PC, so that's how uh, I do it. But yeah, got stuck there for a second. It happens. That's that's just the game and how it's built. Space. Far jump. Far jump. It uh, doesn't matter. It's just jump directly. Drop down. Don't get stuck. Fucking stupid game. <laughs> slide. So you can do the slide jump inside this as well. Listen, you don't have to complete this in under 6 minutes, you have like enough time. You can do the jump trick. If you can't, like, yeah, like that one. Like on here, you can just do... You can see I'm like taking time, so... If I'm taking time, you can take your time as well. You don't have to like... Do it. Do, you don't have to be perfect when you're doing this. There's a rope. Crap. Select it. I don't know why you didn't select. Alright, so you can see I have few uh, I need to get 10 check marks done. I should be able to do it. Not a problem. I have like two minutes. To be to be exact, yeah, two minutes. Slide jump. There's nothing that crazy about this thing. You can see yeah, my stamina regeneration is quite faster. That's the, uh, the map. When you get a chance, do a far jump. Otherwise, just avoid it totally. Slide, jump, don't do a roll. It's fine, you can do this. Because sometimes when you do the roll, you just fall down. I will, I will really avoid that. If you don't know how to do a proper roll, 
like without, without falling down, I would avoid it completely. Jump, don't fall this time, because this could be a little bit uh, deceiving. I've seen people falling down. See? This is done. Go there. Slide. <clears throat> oh, by the way, it's like uh, in the morning, uh, and I'm just doing a recording at the moment. So my not sound perfect, but um, it's still fine. So yeah, I'm doing it under 60 minutes. I think I beat my own record by even doing a lot of mistakes. That's crazy. That's how you do it. <clears throat> 